Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another click look video where I click the look at various art books. Hee! <laughs> look, little Dennis, he's hiding. Today we're going to be looking at the rest of the graphite magazines starting with issue number six because I managed to complete the collection a few months ago and so far I've done a video of issue 10, 9, 8 and 7 so we've still got 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1 to do so we're going to start today with issue number 6 which is maybe my favourite cover I love that cover but these magazines are beautiful they're by 3D Total Publishing and the sad thing is this one here, issue number 10 was the last one so this this here is actually all of them that there will ever be. And look how beautiful the side of them is. They put like little dots. I love that. And what I, I wish they had kept going. Because I wanted to know what was going to happen when they reached the limit. I'd be fascinated by that. <laughs> but these magazines cover concept drawing, illustration and urban sketching. And it's basically beautiful books, these are. So, we we'll start with issue number six. Well, let's see how this compares with the covers so far. So, what would I say about this cover? Well, these three are my favourite covers, I think. Ooh, that one's nice, isn't it? That one's nice as well. I think that one might be my favourite. I love that one though. And it's a beautiful it's a beautiful colour. It's like a it's like a pinky pinky red colour. So I'm gonna try and speed these videos up as well because they've been going on for they've been they've been getting into like the hour range, which is not good. <laughs> They're supposed to be click look videos. So this is the cover. Look at the colour on that. It's absolutely beautiful. I love that artwork as well. Graphite 6. Look how minimalism, minimalistic the cover is. This is what I love about 3D Total. Ooh, look at that look. It's like a monster. So we've got... That's quite cool, that. We've got a sexy and a scary. That's cool, that one. Hmm, nice. We've got a little monster. Ten pounds. How much did I get this for? I think it was thirty pounds or something. These are these are second hand, but this one looks brand new. Looks like it's not even been opened. Little Dennis. That's nice. Subscribe. Oh, that makes me sad. That. Cause it's finished. Got a little dinosaur. That's cool. This one was from 2018. And it's fun as well. Oh, this look. I love I love little dragons. I'm thinking about doing dragons for next month's draw day challenge. Thank you for picking up issue six. We've got what have we got inside of here? We have got, when I grow up, we've got a sci-fi character design, an interview with an artist, sketching on location, watercolours. Yeah, we've got lots of fun, drawing from life. Oh, look, there's going to be about dinosaurs. There's a bit on dinosaurs. <laughs> this is cool, look. When I grow up, an interview with Jason Lee. One of my favourite things is when you get a page of sketches like that. That's fun. Oh, I love this. So the artist that did that is called Jason Lee. Beautiful. I wonder what that's, that must be. Do you reckon that's coloured pencils? Beautiful that is. Oh, that's nice as well, look. Made with Carmine Red Prismacolor 
Coca-Cola Rays and Zebra Brush Pen. That's cool, look. Mixing coloured pencils with brush pens. What sexy pose. Now, oh, this is a very fun artist. We've got a little interview where they're asking questions like, how do you approach your studies and self-improvement? And then you get little answers. So what I love is we get lots of sexy artwork and we get lots of sexy wisdom as well. <laughs> lots of sexiness. Yeah, this is one. Of, this is going to be one of my new favourite artists, I think, because I love everything I've seen so far. Oh, look at this one. Sci-fi character design with Giselle Yucardi. Giselle Yucardi. Look how sexy that page is. It's so simple. I love that. Nice little... Ah, look. A little bit of blue there. I would have erased that if that was me. There's a little bit there as well. Hee! <laughs> Imagine, this would be funny, imagine if one of these drawings had a pube on it. <laughs> That'd be quite funny, that. So we've got a little, talking about the process of creating character, sci-fi character designs. So we go through getting started, thumbnailings. Oh, this is cool. It really helps when you love the artwork, I think. Oh, how amazing is this look? Got little creatures as well. What a fun character that is. So it's, walk, it's going right through the process. Which is nice. Barcelona in watercolour. Cool. He looks cool, doesn't he? I've done this before, it's really fun. Because what I love about this is, whenever I've done it outside, because me in an art class every summer, I don't know if we'll be doing it this year because of lockdown, but we've been going outside sketching. And what I've noticed is when you're doing that, for me it doesn't matter whether it looks good or not. It's very freeing, that is. And the funny thing is, when you don't care about if it looks good or not, it strangely ends up looking... Good. <laughs> That's quite cool. Yeah, it's when you start putting pressure on yourself for it to look good that it's when you're going to mess up. Look, we've got little artist tips as well. Oh, I'm so sad that this magazine stopped. Because it's completely different to the Character Design Quarterly magazine. This is fun, this one, this little article. Doing colour pencils and yeah, sketching on location with Daniel Paga, Pagans. I like that you get to see the artist working. It makes it a lot more intimate that you're actually seeing him. It's quite fun that. Loose. This this is ending up, this might be my favourite issue so far. Look at the little characters in the back with little mice. <laughs> Lots of humour in that one. Loose, a narrative illustration project with Anise Mama. There you go. Oh cool, look, they got a little, I think that's a little story about that one. Which is fun. In this tutorial, Anise Mama shows us shows us how to sketch in ink a stylized space scene using pictures, brush pens and water. I need to burp. I love this, we've got little proper sketchy things. You can learn so much from these articles. Fun characters these are. Very fun. Oh, I like that. Yeah, there's something more special to me about traditional work. And just it just feels more special than digital. <laughs> Even though digital is a lot more 
freeing in a way. Because you, you're not afraid of mistakes because you can just undo. The gallery! Da -da -da. Little Dennis is going to watch this because he likes, he likes the gallery. Look, he wants to get the next page done. We've got two, four, seven artists in here. What I love about this is we get to see lots of different styles. Very technical. Very mystical. It's quite cool that. So this one is done in it's done with pencil, thinner, and then they go into Photoshop. That one's pencil. What was this one? Graphite on Strathmore drawing paper. Cool, isn't it? Faber Castell pens, radiograph pens. God, that must be that must take ages. That's nice, nice and simple. Graphite. That'd be a good tattoo, I think. Oh, look at that. That's nice. The fox and the mask. That's Jason Mulry. Isn't that the guy from the beginning? Jason Mulry. Is that Jason Mulry? J Jason Lee. That's nice. I like that. Tree study. Fountain pen and grey liquid. Watercolour. Grey liquid watercolour. That's beautiful, that is. It's got nice feelings, that one. Look at that, look. Beautiful, that is. And these are our little friends who contributed to the gallery. Gerard. Geyser. Oh, I love, I love that. Yeah, little face and the artwork. Basiliessa. That's a nice name. Got a little website, sir, if you want them. <laughs> Got him, look. He's cool. Yuri, Yuri, Yuri Shorohod. Basil Tran. Look at her munching on pizza. <coughs> she did a little... I bet she's got tattoos. An illustrator from... During the day she works as a concept artist. During the night she explores more whimsical worlds through her personal work. Oh, I like Jason. With a little wolf. And then you got Wolches Powolches. That is cool. Nice. That was fun, that. Drawing from life. Drawing from life. Observational sketching techniques with Dwayne Bell. Dwayne Dibble. <laughs> Dwayne Dibble. Dwayne Dibble. Wonder what that is. What? I want to know what that is. That looks like um, sharpies or something. Got to be. Got to be very confident to do that. That's fun, look. Tiny little sketchbooks. <laughs> yeah, funny. What I love about this is you, you, even though you're only drawing people, you somehow capture the person inside the drawing, which is cool. See, you can sort of feel everyone's energy I suppose inside the little drawing which is cool I haven't done this for ages it's probably been about well it's since I quit it's since I started that job I haven't done life drawing for 18 months it's a shame that is little artist tips look make mistakes it is tempting to scrap a drawing when you think it's not working or when you make a mistake, but stick with it. Before you start, accept that mistakes are going to happen and don't worry when they do. Have fun with whatever lands on your page and you'll find yourself pleasantly surprised. When looking over old sketches, I often enjoy the bad and mistake-ridden drawings the most. Yeah, I've no 
Oh, look at this, look. Look how beautiful. Like a fairy tale. That's one of those where I'd, I feel like I'd like to eat it. Every so often you see, it's cute. Every so often you see a piece of artwork and it's got sort of like a tastiness about it. Even that's nice. The little rough sketch. Cool. Oh, I'm going to enjoy reading this one. Beautiful colours she's using there. Yeah, I love that. Absolutely love that. Oh, I, I need to see more of her artwork. I like the shape of her little animals. So she's called Maya Licky. Maya Licky. Maya Licky. She, she works right through the process as well. Cool. From place to place. An interview with Christian Wieski. Cool. It's going to be... There's somebody at art class always done this and it, I loved it. It's, it's all done with ink, like sketchy things. It, it captures the energy of the place. Those things. Oh, these are lovely. Look at the lighting on that one. How beautiful these are. See, look at all the different things they, they're using. So many different types of Medium, that's nice. It is only you and your drawing, and all, all other things fade into the background. Connection. Designing dinosaurs. We love dinosaurs. That's a nice page, that as well. Again, keeping it simple. I love looking at artists' workspace. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Fascinating. I, I wonder what that is there. I like that. Little plants, I like that. Cool. Got little dinosaurs here. We like little dinosaurs. These would be fun. Yeah, I like, I like this. Dinosaurs have got such a fun shape. You know, yesterday, I was outside. They've actually got a claw, look. A real claw. I was outside. Yay, likes nature, look. Oh, cool. What a cool thing that is. I was outside, and there's a little bird... It was running across the floor. It looked just like a dinosaur. How like the dinosaur puts its head down and runs like... It was like a triangle running through space. He, <laughs> was that ever weird? And I thought to myself, it reminded me that birds... Dinosaurs turned into birds, didn't they? I think. He's cool. That's interesting. The lush forest is a strong complement to the creature design. Yeah. Again, thinking about everything there. Oh, we are finished. I don't like it when these things finish. It's a shame. Cause, and it, the little quote at the end is by Jason Lee, who is the one that did the beautiful things at the start. It says, I love drawings and the physical act of drawing, whether it is a quick observational sketch or elaborately detailed doodle, drawing in a sketchbook or on a sheet of paper is just fun for me. Da -da 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 -da. What's in here? Ding, 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 ding. Support graphic. Yay, they've done it. I love this. This one here is going to be in... This was from the previous issue which means it's going to be from the next one we're going to look at, which is this one. 
What a funny little creature. Issue number five. I'll be doing that one next. So that one's from inside the magazine. It's quite cool. Oh, it's Medusa. Gonna go a bit. Mm, what's it called? Mystic. What's it called? Me mythology. Going into the world of mythology. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I feel like that's one of my favourites. It was just full of... Everything was really beautiful in there. And I can tell there's going to be loads of wisdom. What was my favourite? She's very close to my favourite. I think my favourite's that one. This one or this one? One of those. But I love that. I hope you enjoyed it. And now we're going to look at issue number five. Hope you stay around for that. Da -da -da. <laughs>